Hi guys, so this is just another video. Um, it's going to be kind of something different to what I usually do. It's not going to be me showcasing any applications or giving tips or anything like that. This is purely out of curiosity and for entertainment purposes and for fun. I'm sure all of you guys who have a Tegra 3 processor or you know are interested in any tech or anything will be wondering what the absolute limit of this thing would be, like how you can crash it or you know just what can you do. So first I'll clear everything just to make sure this is fair because um, things are going to get messy. Um, yeah, so um, as you probably saw, um, well, here you can see that we're going to be checking the um, progress of all the cores as uh, we added more and more stuff in until it crashes. So basically, um, you would have seen in my last video the uh, Stick It video app. So um, it's kind of like, you know, you can play multiple videos at once. But on um, Gingerbread, for some reason, it would only allow two and it was kind of... Um, not taking advantage of the hardware properly but it seems on ice cream sandwich like you can put as many as you want as you can see here so basically the idea is to play as many HD videos as I can until the device just gives up so um, yeah like the Galaxy Note didn't really struggle with two that was fine and obviously you can see here with five videos going on at the same time everything moves just as smoothly as you would normally have it I think um, once the Galaxy Note gets ice cream sandwich I'll try the same thing and then we'll see what happens there. But anyway, so I've got five videos simultaneously playing and um, as you can see, all the cores there, they only spiked up because I opened the program. But you know, three of them are about half half uh, active and one's not even doing anything, so it's not really struggling there, just chewing through it. No problems, everything's playing smoothly, all the videos aren't stuttering, no artifacts, it's all good. Um, sounds like an absolute mess, but anyway. So uh, going, adding two more, so we have seven videos, everything still moves normally, like nothing's happening, like no problems at all, Tegra 3 is just chewing through it, just taking its merry time. Um, we'll check uh, the cores now, and what we see with seven videos running is, when it balances out, we have all of them probably three quarters full or more, so that's kind of spiked up a little bit. Um, add a couple more, so you've got eight now, a bit of Jimmy Eat World. Um, so increase the size of that just to see it better. Um, add some more, got uh, nine videos now. Um, everything still, still looks well, everything moves all right. Um, 10 videos, so <laughs> you know, this is getting pretty extreme now, like, um, it's kind of still amazing that nothing's gone wrong yet. <laughs> Ten videos playing simultaneously at the same time. Let's check uh, check how the cores are doing. Um, obviously, quad core beast, 1.3 gigahertz, and now we're starting to see it. Have a little bit of a doubt <laughs> of if we can do this. We have uh, almost, well, probably like five sixth full <laughs> on each core, so um, they're all working hard there. Um, almost maxing out but not quite there yet uh, still got a bit but um, I think we can do better than that we'll go and add even some more videos on top of all of these so let's see so now well, lost count was that 11 and 12 now and 13 12 or 13 I think it was 12 we'll, we'll go with 12 so we have um, 12 videos running now now you can see it's starting to have a bit of a panic attack um, it's not moving according to my finger as smoothly as it was before, but the videos are surprisingly still playing fine, which is um, interesting. It just seems that it doesn't want to trace my hand as well as it did. Um, I guess we can go back and uh, uh, check the cores now, see what she have uh, the good old Tegra 3 is doing, and um, let's see. So now we have still about the same actually. Um, uh, all videos are still playing and we've still got a bit of room on the processor but oh the memory memory is almost gone um, seems like we're gonna run out of memory before anything else so um, we'll go home swipe around see how things are <laughs> obviously a lot less responsive than they were but they still work surprisingly um, yeah but it looks like we're running out of memory pretty fast and that's gonna happen before any of the cores so opening any of the other apps isn't going to work because we've run out of memory and um, yeah, it's just not going to work. We can't open any more apps because we've maxed out RAM before the cores have been maxed out. Now you're starting to see artifacts and um, videos are not having fun. Processes, yep, yeah, it's gone. Killed it. So there you go, guys. Um, it takes about 12 videos and opening extra 
or 12 HD videos and opening extra apps to reboot this thing. So, um, you know, that's a pretty good effort, I'd say. Pretty good. Impressive. So this video wasn't meant to be a negative take on the Taker 3 processor. I mean, like in day-to-day -day use, I can't actually crash the thing, so that's pretty good. But anyway, if you like this video, um, please pass it on to all your Taker 3 friends and share the fun. Alright, cheers guys.